We're running! And... Welcome to this week's edition of This Week in Hobby Robotics. On my right, I have on Skype... Hi, I'm Rick. Hi, and my name is Fritz. I am sitting in Denmark in my workshop. Rick, what have you got for me? Well, robots, robots, and lots of robots, and they're all made <laughs> by people on Let's Make Robots.com. Wow. Yeah, let's let's have a look at uh, Iso one of Isotope's interesting projects. Uh, his uh, line line iron bot. Yeah, it is it is one of many projects by Isotope, and it is also a hacked uh, device, gadget, whatever. It is a cloth iron, and he hacked it, uh, added a few motors, a few sensors, and basically he using the familiar casing of the line uh, the iron as a casing for his robot and it can follow a line, it's a line follower. And it goes to show if you just if, if you are making a robot then often it, it, it's a good idea. Some sometimes uh, people just uh, add a little hat onto it or uh, you just put it into into uh, a little effort into its looks. Into That's the looks yeah and and, 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 and and new stuff will start happen because you you'll start to get new ideas if you if you say, okay, this this rather simple robot, well, it's a line follow, but yes, what if it looked like an iron? Then perhaps, and then you start inventing from that. So, and and always with Isotope, he's doing such cool stuff. We're gonna Everything see Everything he builds is always pretty or amazing. It or is. Funny. We're going yes. to see so much more from him. Now, uh, Emma, she's uh, she's what we refer to as an arty. Um, she <laughs> we do. she seems to be quite fascinated by um, by the the beam bots, um, and and she's doing some very nice work there. Yes, and, and she has an eye for uh, the beauty of her designs as well. It's not just all technical or functional. Absolutely, I think it. I think that thing looks like a horse. Yeah, and there's some somebody com compared it to a seahorse, in fact. Yeah, and and what is what what is uh, it's it's you got two transistors there and a lot of capacitors. Yeah, it's basically a, a solar engine. Uh, it has a little uh, solar PV cell on it, and um, what it does is it it stirs up with a little pager motor what's uh, dangling inside a glass uh, a jar or bottle. Um, but all the capacitors form one huge uh, capacitor bank and she ordered them by size uh, so that you get a nice sequence like spiral thing uh, going on. You should check out some of her stuff it's, if you're into beam bots, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. Okay Rick, uh, now for uh, a rather old project but it's a good fun project. It's the uh, Party Papa alarm clock. It's a classic. <laughs> But I think that, that is that is, that, is, that one has silly written all over it without the actual words. <laughs> yeah, it's it is what it says. It is a party pop alarm clock. What else is there to say except to show it? it exactly. You set the alarm and it goes off and it goes pop and the, your party that is the next day can start. And now for something completely different. Now this one is not a very uh, complicated uh, robot as such, but I just love the way this this thing walks. Uh, it's, it's locomotion is very novel. It's novel lo locomotion. You can say that. It, I, when I when I see stuff like that, I always I, it's got that I want that value to it. I, I want to um, to have that thing and 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 try to reprogramming it and and make it go around and and I don't know. It just it just appeals to me stuff that that works funny. And yeah. and this and this thing definitely does work funny. And, or is it driving? I, I'm still not trying to figure <laughs> this out. But it's, it's true. Most definitely silly. When I tell people what Let's Make Robot is all about, it's about projects like this one. Thank you very much for watching this week. Uh, my name is Fritz and this is Rick. I'm Rick, hi. See, See you ya. next time. See you next time. Bye. Whoops.